Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Hex. Hello. Um, one of the things I talked about in a previous video, the RSS video, was how I like to make application windows out of uh, websites, especially when the website's something I only go to for that one task. And a few people have commented to me in real life that they didn't know what the chuff I was talking about. Um, and I did a little bit digging, and it turns out that, yeah, I missed my point in that video completely. And people, something I thought was something a lot of people do turn out to be something weird that not many people actually do. So I thought I'd take a moment to explain to you what that is, and hopefully give you some insight and the way of doing things you might not have considered. Maybe you have, maybe everyone knows this, in which case, this video is not for you. It's for the people that were asking me sort of what you're talking about. So, yeah. Uh, without further ado, this is Inner Reader. Inner Reader is the RSS reader I finally settled on. I like it because it's got a light theme, a dark theme. I can organize things in any view I fancy. Um, and I can do all sorts of customization, which I like, to the point where I even, I even dropped cash so that I could have the premium version of this website. It's great, uh, $14 a year and you get no adverts. It seems like a bargain to me. Um, and this is Crunchyroll, a place to watch anime, which I love very, very much and spend a lot of my time on. However, both these websites are essentially tools much like netflix is a tool that i load netflix i don't want to browse the web i want to watch netflix you know i don't want to be distracted by web stuff i just want netflix um and to get the result i want i like to use applications and here's inner reader as an application window so you can see here that uh this is inner reader without any way it's still running in chromium um, but it's running without any of the website stuff around the edge and it's just the pure experience um, essentially free from distractions even though an RSS reader is built on distractions this is just the, the content I want without bookmarks and pop-ups and plugins now how do I get that and what's the benefit um, as I said the benefit is is mostly that, that I don't get the distractions and plugins but it also means that um, when I'm alt tabbing about I do get a separate window for an application with the application logo on so I can alt tab and I see inner reader I don't see chromium I see inner reader, um, which means if I've got a chat program open or my, my RSS reader open, I'm not going to accidentally close it and take down the website I'm looking at when I close my browser. Um, I've done the same for Crunchyroll. So if I type Crunchyroll there, I've done the exact same thing for Crunchyroll. Um, so when I'm watching some anime, again, there's Crunchyroll. So if I kill my browser, Crunchyroll still open. Now, the other way you can do this is what I often do, used to do before I discovered this way of doing it, was I just have two browsers. I'd have a Firefox session for browsing the web and Chrome session or Chromium session for watching TV, but still you find yourself not really knowing what things are opening and closing tabs and killing it. So this, for me, is a much better solution, and I really like the fact that this is not a website. This essentially turns this, this video viewing service into a desktop application. Um, yeah, it uses more RAM than a desktop application would, but this is the nature of web browsers in 2016. So how do we do this wonderful thing? How do we get this to do it? Well, it's so easy. You just go to the main page of the website you want, and you go um, to the little three-button menu thing. I wish that is that got a name. The three, but three lines people seem to use, or three dots people like to use. Anyway, uh, you go more options, and you go add to desktop. That's it. And then you tick the button that says open as a window. If you tick a button, if you don't tick the button, it just opens the web browser normal and goes straight to that page. If you click open as a window, you get this dedicated window like this, which is lovely. And this is, if I click add now, this is literally what it does. It just adds this link to my desktop. Now I'm using uh, GNOME, so I don't even see my desktop icon. So I just let them pile up. But you could then move it off your desktop to somewhere else if you wanted to. And yeah, that's it, basically. And I think that's a much more livable experience, a much more elegant experience. Uh, it's not something I do with every website, but um, because I use Firefox as my main browser, um, I don't really want to have the whole of Chromium open, even though the application is open. I don't want all the interface of web browser stuff when I just want to watch Crunchyroll or when I just want to, uh, or when I just want to, just want to look at Inner Reader. And again, that separate icon for it is so great that separate icon you get for stuff i mean like right now i've got crunchyroll and inner reader open but i can only see chromium uh, which is a pain in the ass so yeah uh, something i like a lot i wish there was a way of doing this with chromium um, with firefox someone told me there used to be an application called standalone which did this but it's been discontinued uh, as of firefox 48 i think uh, i don't know of another web browser that does it if you guys know of a browser that's lighter than chrome uh, the Chromium that does this, please let me know. Or if you guys have been doing this for ages and it's old news, also let me know. But likewise, I think a lot of people don't know this is a thing and they might like it. So yeah, this has been what this video has been about. And also, 
Inno Reader is just fab. You should check out Inno Reader. That's I N O R E A D E R dot com, which is, in my opinion, the solution to the RSS problem I raised earlier. So there you go. That's been the video. We've done it. We've got it to the end. I think we did all right. I think I got my point. I think I got all my points across without screwing up and using any really naughty words. So yeah, it went well. And and in in that, um, thank you for joining me on this ride. Thank you for watching and YouTube advice up down follow whatever thank you for watching bye